On a blustery day in November 1891, 10 electrical workers from around the country meet at Stoley's Dance Hall in the poor side of St. Louis, Missouri. Their goal? To bring about a better life for those in their trade. A man by the name of Henry Miller is leading the discussion. So Henry Miller and the, and the rest of the Founding Fathers realized that if we were ever going to have any structure or any power, that we needed to form a national brotherhood of electrical workers. After several hours of rigorous debate, the 10 electrical workers agree on a constitution and the National Brotherhood of Electrical Workers is born. For more than 120 years, the Brotherhood has stood the test of time. Through two world wars, the Great Depression, internal disputes, and hostile clashes with the government. For the last 100 years, we have been a progressive organization that has always been willing to try something new, to grow, and to improve the lives of our members. When the IBEW opened its doors, Electricity was a luxury, not a necessity. As in, in the early days, this was something that only the wealthy had access to. Times have changed. Where once it was used primarily for science and industry, today electricity is part of our everyday lives. It is everywhere. It powers our computers, elevators, heaters, and everyday devices. It starts our cars, warms our coffee, refrigerates our food, delivers our news, and brightens our day. Hospitals, trains, airplanes, and factories. The world as we know it would not exist without electricity. Luckily, we belong to a union that has been at the forefront of uh, making that, uh, that miracle available to everybody on a day-to-day -day basis. The stewards of this vital energy are the brave men and women of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, IBEW.